Well, welcome to the Coach's Corner. Hi, I'm Frank Barbahan, and I will be your discipleship coach for this week with your permission. This is number five in the series, if I got the number right. And we're focusing on uh, what happens when we cannot fight back or run. What happens when we don't have the skills and we can't fight back and we can't run? That is the fight or flight response has been uh, activated because of whatever suffering or whatever trauma we've gone through. Well, the suffering or trauma just sits in our craw and goes around and around 24 seven. So whether we're consciously aware of it or not, we are processing our suffering or our trauma all the time. And that keeps the fight or flight response going. Now, what that sets up is a variety of symptoms when we don't have the skills to metabolize our suffering. So one is we can become depressed. We get tired and we feel heavy, we feel lethargic. Because our energy is being siphoned off, managing the suffering uh, and, the, uh, and the pain that we have inside of us. We also experience anxiety, and that's the experience of the fight or flight going on 24-7, and it goes around and around, and it can create different kinds of anxieties. It can create what we call generalized anxiety, which is the anxiety that we just feel all the time, a general agitation or stress. We can have agoraphobia, which is another way for the anxiety to express itself. We can have different kinds of phobias. So for example, I was traumatized in my childhood, which I've written about in my book from torment to trust. And I actually have a phobic fear of high open places. And it represents or symbolizes that I feel in a high open place, I feel like I don't have security to grab onto something, which represents the lack of emotional security from my childhood. And to be candid with you, that anxiety has never been fully resolved. I'm not a commercial airline pilot, so I don't need to fully resolve it. And even though I've climbed mountains in my youth, I never went real close to the edge. So another way that this... Uh, ongoing fight or flight expresses itself is in panic. Panic is like at a peak moment of the anxiety. It's our body on high alert. And our minds are saying, I'm scared or I'm absolutely terrified of my pain. And it just is screaming out, I can't do this anymore. Other symptoms, muscle aches and pains, extreme fatigue, and why do we get those? Because we're constantly fighting and or constantly running, but guess what? There's nobody to fight with and there's no place to run to. It's in our mind and it's being processed all the time and it just fatigues us. We can get frustrated and angry. We're always on edge and we take it out on family members. If you ever saw the movie, which was a recent movie, The Sniper, and they had a vignette, an expose of how he was treating his wife and he was treating her poorly in some ways, was different and uh, distant and he was um, edgy and easily frustrated uh, because of the pain that he was carrying inside of him from the um, assassination work that he would have to do. Another way it can come out is, is looking bipolar where we're swinging back and forth. We're running so hard and so fast from the pain inside of us that we end up talking fast, we end up agitated, the hands move fast, and uh, we can act out impulsively and foolishly, you know, like overspending money, overeating, and so forth. Uh, and then, either within hours, within days, within weeks, or sometimes within months, we then plummet and we're exhausted. And we plummet into the exhaustion and we plummet into the underlying pain and depression. A depression because we're in touch now with the, with the painful morbidity of what we're wrestling with inside. So we end up swinging back and forth. 
we can run a number of ways from that pain. We can run by drinking, drugging, we can gamble, we can overeat, we can have affairs, we can keep ourselves too busy, we can watch uh, hour after hour of TV, uh, and uh, young people in particular can lose themselves in gaming. Those are just some of the things that happen when we just keep processing the fight or flight over and over, 24-7, whether we're aware of it or not, and we don't have the skills to metabolize our suffering. All right, if you have thoughts, comments, questions, feel free to uh, email me at frank at peakperformancediscipleship.com, frank at peakperformancediscipleship.com, and uh, we'll see you next time.